This is an adaptation of the open access paper Optimal Scheduling of Merchant-Owned Energy Storage Systems with Multiple Ancillary Services. 2. Constraints. The NIS consists of a power converter and a storage unit, figure 1A. The storage unit has an intertemporal relationship between the charge-discharge power and the stored energy. It can be written as follows in 10. Self-discharge rate does not show a linear relationship with time, as illustrated in figure 3. In 10, the first hourly self-discharge rate is denoted as D. Par is the activated reserve power. If the ease operator has a forecast for par, it can be used for the analysis. Otherwise, it can be zero. If the ease contracts to supply frequency regulation, SCFR represents the value of energy used at each hour for supplying frequency regulation. Reserve power and black start support do not need energy unless they are called upon. Therefore, they are not included in 10. However, the ease always should maintain enough energy to supply black start support. Furthermore, it should also maintain the ability to deliver and absorb energy, in order to supply reserve power and frequency regulation ancillary services. In 11, ease energy capacity is being allocated to each service. Since all energy levels of SE are variables, results of the optimization yield the optimal level of energy for each service. Ideally, frequency regulation is a zero energy required service. This means that in the long run, the energy required for the random charging and discharging function of frequency regulation is negligible. However, in practice a certain level of energy needs to be maintained. This constraint considers the linear dependency between the power and energy values of frequency regulation ancillary service. The relation is based on the constant KFR which depends on the type of the selected technology of ease is given in 12. The linear relationship between the power and energy values of reserve power ancillary services presented in 13. The constant KRP depends on the type of selected ease technology. In this formulation PRPT is a positive value, even though the ease agrees to be a positive or a negative reserve power. There is a power loss in the power converter. This loss occurs due to power electronic switching and resistances of the converter of a battery ease or generator motor loss of a pumped hydro ease. It is expressed based on the overall charging and discharging efficiency of the converter, 14. Figure 4 shows the typical capability curve of an ease electricity converter during charging and discharging. This nonlinear relationship between active and reactive power is given in reference 23. The approximate linearized curve shown in dashed black is presented using 15, 20. The capability curve of the generator motor can also be modeled, as explained below. In addition to the converter capability curve limits, storage units have power limits based on the state of charge, figure 5. This is a significant limiting factor in batteries. Fast charge discharge beyond these limits could shorten the cycle life of storage units. The constraints, 21 and 22, estimate the value of fast charge discharge beyond the rated power in each hour. The total discharge power can be more than the rated power of the storage unit by choosing a negative value for delta P, 1, 21. The term, delta P1 allows fast discharge higher than the rated power. The fast charge beyond the recommended limit is expressed as in, 22. Unlike the maximum discharge power, the E's maximum charge power is not constant. It depends on the E's energy level, state of charge. For example, at high SOC levels, a storage unit needs to be charged at low power. For this study, it is assumed that the maximum charge power is a linear function of the E's energy level, right-hand side of 22A, as shown in Figure 5. Equation 22 expresses charging characteristics of E's such as Li-ion batteries and can be simplified for other E's by neglecting 22A. The formula for the number of operation cycles of energy storage is given in reference 26. For the study, the simplified equation, 23, is used here. As stated in reference 24, the cycle life could be affected by fast charge and discharge processes. The constraint, 24, considers the effects of fast charge discharge on the cycle life. It is a linear approximation of the relationship between the cycle life reduction and the fast charge discharge power values over a year. In battery ease, the depth of discharge DOD, reduces the cycle life of the ease. The ease operator should select the depth of discharge, or the relevant low energy level SE, based on the optimal impact on the cycle life. 
the energy level at each hour should be higher than the selected low energy level, 25, figure 6. In this study, the nonlinear relationship between DOD and NC given in 26 is linearized considering NS number of linear sections. The constraint, 26, considers the cycle life reduction due to low energy level, SE. The proposed formulation considers E's lifetime in quarters to improve accuracy. The following constraint in 27 relates the number of quarters in the E cycle life. The equivalent cycle life considers the cycle life reduction due to fast charge. The complete formulation has an objective function in 1, 2, 9, and a set of constraints in 10, 2, 27. It can be solved used a mixed integer linear optimization solver. This is an adaptation of the open access paper. Optimal scheduling of merchant-owned energy storage systems with multiple ancillary services.